What is the cheapest way to pay off credit card debt? Welcome back to Money Talks. In case you're new here, my name's Ian. The cheapest way to pay off credit card debt is not a debt consolidation loan or bankruptcy. It's not winning the lottery. Terrible ideas. The cheapest way to pay off credit card debt is with, this isn't necessarily the fastest or the Dave Ramsey approved way of doing it, but the cheapest way is balance transfers. Balance transfers. What is a balance transfer? Let's go into that. So uh, credit card companies often offer these balance transfer offers. And basically they allow you to transfer the balance you have on one card to another card. And typically they're very favorable. You might see uh, a balance transfer offer with a 0% interest for 12 months. You might see one with 2% interest for 18 months. Compared to what you're paying on your credit card now, which is probably 20 to 25%. Now you gotta consider though that these come with balance transfer fees uh, of anywhere between, sometimes they're 0%, but sometimes they go up to 5%. So this is just the fee on the balance when you transfer it over to the other card. It's the fee you pay on that balance. And that's basically so the credit card company can make a little money just in case you do properly pay off this balance over time. So why would credit card companies offer this? Well, it's, it's simple. They're hoping that you transfer the balance. Credit card companies want your balance. They're hoping you transfer the balance and then you forget about it. And then they're making money. They're making interest off of your balance that you owe them. So that's why credit card companies do this and they have really favorable terms and they're preying on people thinking they're actually gonna pay off their cards, uh, but then they end up making money because people forget about it or they can't afford to pay off their cards and they just, they just do it continuously. But we're not gonna do that. Uh, we're not gonna forget about our balance transfers. We're not gonna forget about our balance. We're gonna pay it off within the time period of the promo APR that they offer us. In order to do this, you must have a balance on an empty card uh, to transfer balance to. And uh, here's what I like to do. Let's just draw it out. I have, a, I have an example uh, prepared, a pretty simple example. Oh, one thing real quick. So one, one thing to consider is that uh, if you're doing a balance transfer, the balance must come from a, a credit card with a different credit card company. If you're transferring from one American Express card to another American Express card, uh, American Express doesn't want, doesn't, won't let you do that because you're not actually giving them more balance to hold because they're not gonna make any more money off of you. They're actually gonna lose money. Uh, so they always, credit card companies are gonna only offer you balance transfers when you transfer balances from different credit card companies. So here are the steps we need to follow to do this correctly. The first thing is get on a written budget, uh, preferably with a debit card or some other way to control your spending or cash. Debit or cash. The second thing to do is perform balance transfers. This works really well if you have multiple cards with balances on them. It works so well, it's beautiful. So what you do is, uh, let's say you have, let's say you have your first card. You have credit card one, credit card two, credit card three, credit card four. Let's say you have no balance on this right now. Let's say you have, I'm just gonna make everything the same right here just for simplicity. Let's say you have $6,000 here, $6,000 here, balance, right? So in total we have $18,000 of balance on uh, credit card two, three, and four. And we have our, we have a 20% interest rate currently. That's gonna cost us a lot. We have 20% over here, but it doesn't matter because we don't have a balance. So what we're gonna do is, we have this empty card right here. It's really important to, uh, to transfer your balance to a card that doesn't have any balance in it currently. Because what, you can, what can happen is you can get trapped. Uh, if you have, say if you had $500 on this card and you did this balance transfer over here, uh, 
of $6,000. You would have to pay off that entire $6,000 before you can get to that $500. That $500 is still generating interest at 20%. So you have to run through this entire $6,000 here. You have to get rid of this first before you can even hit, let's say this was $500 before you can even hit that. So that might take a year, and that $500 has already, has already generated $100 of interest. So we don't wanna do that. We wanna make sure this first card is empty, okay? If you're getting value, make sure to like this video. Also hit that subscribe button. I'll keep you updated on my latest and greatest debt reduction strategies. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take their balance transfer, right? And we have a balance transfer fee. Let's just say for all these cards, we got a BT fee of 4%. So when we do this balance transfer over here, this is actually gonna become $6,240. All right, so it went up by $240, but you'll see in a second that this $240 is nothing compared to the interest that it would generate over here. So, we also want to say, we also want to assume that all these balance transfer offers have an 18 month term, 18 months. We did our balance transfer here. Look at this, now this card is empty. We have zero dollars on this. Oh look, we have an empty card now. Look at that, we can do a balance transfer. And I'm just using the same numbers just to make it easier for me to do, do the math. So look at that, we just did a balance transfer again. And again, we're paying, uh, we're paying 1% on this, which is very common. It's very common to see balance transfer offers that have a 4% balance transfer fee for 18 months with a 1% promo APR. It's very common to see this. So we, we have this APR down here, and then we also have it over here. Oh look, we have another empty card. So now what we can do is transfer this balance over here again. It all just started with one empty card. That's all we needed to get this whole cascade going. And now, a little over $18,000 is held at 1% APR. So now paying it off over 18 months it is doable and you're not gonna generate that much interest. Uh, and we'll get into the actual cost of all this in a second. Uh, one thing I wanna note is that the adjacent credit cards have to be different companies, as I mentioned earlier. So this could be Amex, this could be Discover. This could be Amex again, but it couldn't be Discover because you can't balance transfer from just Discover to Discover or Amex to Amex or Capital One to Capital One. So we can say this is uh, Amex again, just because it's not adjacent to this one. And then over here, we'll say this one's Chase, all right? Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever used a balance transfer to help you reduce your debt. And then again, we don't have a balance on this now. What ends up happening? If we wanted to pay this off in 18 months, all things being held equal, if we, if we pay this off in 18 months and, and this off in 18 months, we would end up paying up here $1,166 per month for 18 months. Down here, because we got a lower interest rate, despite that extra $240 on each one of these, we're gonna pay $1,000. $48 per month. Oh look, right there, that's a savings of $117 per month. Literally, you saved $117 per month, and this probably took like an hour, an hour over the course of a few days maybe. Make sure to share this video with anyone you know who might be struggling with credit card debt. I really wanna get the message out there about the amazing, awesome benefits of balance transfers and how you can hack the credit card companies and save a lot of money and pay down your debt all in one process. So make sure to share this video, tell any, any of your friends or family that are struggling with credit card debt uh, about the, the beauty of the balance transfer. Also send them this video. Now let's look at the total amount that we pay uh, to the credit card company uh, given the two different scenarios. So without balance transfer, we would end up paying $20,983 
to the credit card company. So remember we started with 18,000 up here. So our cost, our cost to hold this debt over that 18 months was $2,983. That's a lot of money. Now with the balance transfer, it cost $18,869. And our cost of debt $869. Most of that is just those balance transfer fees over here, that $240. So overall, we save $2,114 by doing a balance transfer 18 months later. You're paying a little extra over here versus not doing anything, you're paying $2,000 more. So after you do these balance transfers, it's really important immediately after, you have to do this. Oh man. Let me just go right over here. Lock credit cards. Lock them so you can't use them. And then I don't care what you can do with them. You can light them on fire. You could you could freeze them. You could throw them away, chop them up and throw them away. Just don't use them. You're locked into doing this for 18 months, okay? So lock credit card and just destroy. Just don't let yourself be able to use it. And then the fourth step is profit. Remember that over $2,000 of savings we had there. Just think of that. Let me know what you think of the whiteboard style videos. Uh, should I make more of them or am I copying whiteboard finance? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually go over a few balance transfer offers we have here. First one is Discover. 0% uh, APR for 12 months, 4% transfer fee or you could do the second offer, which is 6% APR, 15 months with a 0% transfer fee. I believe this is Chase, 0% uh, APR through April, 2021. So that's about 15 months with a 4% transfer fee or a 0% APR through March, which I guess that'd be 13 months, 14 months, 4% transfer fee. Very similar to what I used in the example. Over here, we have another Chase card. Both of these are 0%. We got our 4% transfer fee. It just uh, the terms, the term links are a little different. If you're getting value right now, make sure to like the video and subscribe. I'll keep making videos like these to help you along your debt-free journey. Oh man, that's a lot to erase. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. I hope you found it useful and insightful in some way. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, like the video. If you have any thoughts about it, leave a quick little comment down below. I'd love to hear it. I respond to every comment. I'd love to get a conversation started with you. Uh, until next time, this is Ian from Money Talks.